Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video. Um, inspired by, first of all, of course, Alexi, but also all the other people that started doing this project in the last year. I've decided to also start doing a Pandas Eyeshadows Challenge. I've been doing Panda palettes for, I think, four years in a row now. Um, I'm still gonna do a small mini panda palette, but I just kind of feel like indeed like hitting pan on some palettes, which might also make it easier for me to like use them up during panda palettes in the upcoming years. Um, I asked you guys whether you want to see this separate from my panda palettes or together. And at the point that I'm filming this, most photos are going to separate. So that's what I'm going for right now. Um, I think one of the hesitations for filming them separately was the amount of progress I would be able to make. Um, we'll see. If it turns out that my progress is extremely boring, I might combine them anyway. But I think having them separately in a way will motivate me as well to work on these products uh, the right way. So without any further ado, we're gonna go into the eyeshadow. So of course, pretty random app right here. Um, I put all my eyeshadows in a spreadsheet and I have 157 separate pans of eyeshadows. Um, this includes my palettes, my quads, trios um, and my singles. So I'm just gonna randomly go through them. I don't have too many singles so I think it's unlikely for me to end up with a lot of them in this project. Um, so I don't really mind, like I don't have to do like one draw for singles and one draw for palettes. Anyway, like I said, enough rambling. Let's see what we're gonna be working with. So. First of all, let's randomize. First one is 92. I'm just gonna make sure I write all of them down as well because I don't wanna forget the numbers, of course. So 92. Next, we've got 105. Okay, 105, 140. 140 will be close to my quads and singles. Um, because they are at the bottom. Let's see, 94. That's closer to 92, so that might be the same palette. Let's see. Okay, one more randomization, and that's 15. Okay. So we've got our five shadows. Now, one thing that I'm gonna say before I'm gonna grab anything, if any of these shadows turns out to be a black, I'm gonna re-randomize, re just because um, if you guys have been following my panda palette, I'm working on two blacks already at the moment and I just cannot try to hit pan on one more at the same time. So that's just a little disclaimer. I'm gonna check my collection, see what these palettes are, and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, and I'm back. So I'm gonna go through the palettes from lowest to highest number. Um, I have them here. I haven't really looked at the exact color that they are. Um, none of them are in the same palette, so I've got five different palettes here. The first one, I'm pretty excited to have picked one from this. Um, I know this is one you guys haven't seen in my palette yet before. Um, I have not bought this one, so my unofficial no buy is still going. But my sister had this palette and she decided like she is just not using makeup at all anyway. Um, so she gifted basically her whole makeup collection to me and this one was part of it which I'm I'm pretty excited about because I did not have any of the Vice palettes and they just look so so nice. So from the Vice palettes I have the color Pandemonium. What is the color Pandemonium? Okay I can I can work with that. So I'm just taking the brush out. Actually I have a new brush as well. Nice. So okay I'm just gonna hold it upside down so I'm not blinding you guys too much. Pandemonium is the purplish shimmery color right here, which actually look quite nice and neutral. Um, oh, in the swatch, it's a bit darker than I expected it to be, but that is Pandemonium. So a nice shimmery, slightly darker purple color. That's gonna be nice as kind of a outer corner color, maybe something that slightly goes in the, the crease as well. Okay, let's see what we have more. I'm, I'm a bit afraid for what I'm gonna get, but anyway, so the next color was 92, and 92, I believe, was in my Circus palette from Sleek. So the Circus palette has a lot of um, very bright colors, and I have the last color in here. I don't have names for these. Oh my god. Um, 
yeah so i've decided because i don't have names for these i started i'm holding it upside down now so i started here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um thank god it's not the black but it is this extremely bright orange color um now orange out of all these colors is a bit more of a wearable color if i would have had like that blue for example it would have been a bit different i think i can incorporate the orange okay enough into stuff if i just use it together with some browns and more neutral colors so that's the orange um that i'm gonna be working with it is a nice bright orange but it doesn't seem too bright so i have hopes that i can actually work with this and uh, wear some office looks while using that okay next we have number 94 and that is from my nyx secret world uh palette this is the secret world palette looks very similar to my striker pose that you guys have seen me work on and also for this one um no names just gonna take out that little weird brush thingy so i started one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and right now we've got number two so that's this one right here it's kind of a goldish lightish color the only like less nice thing about this palette in my opinion is that it has some like bigger chunky glitters in it like i'm kind of hoping that that is part of an overspray because i haven't used it enough yet to figure that out but we'll see anyway the color itself is a really nice and neutral um color it is mm, yeah no it is a shimmery color i was kind of wondering whether it's just kind of a matte with an overspray and some chunky glitters in it but no, it is a somewhat shimmery color, kind of a, how do you call that, velvet? Is that it? I don't remember. Tell me what this is. Uh, anyway, it's it's a nice, like, neutral color that I can slap on very easily. And if those chunky glitters are indeed only at the top, I might even be able to use this as some sort of a transition shade. So far, the colors work okay nicely enough. My origin purple, maybe not so much, but I it would even be a nice challenge to try and see how i can combine those anyway moving on to number four number four is number 105 and that was in my striker pose palette so i've got both my nyx palettes that i'm going to be working on and that is number three and also here it's upside down so one two three gives me a dark brown that already has a proper dip in it actually so this one also has a tiny bit of a shimmery something to it but it's mainly a matte and i don't know if you guys can see but it's this one and clearly it has a bit of a dip in it already so that is kind of nice so yeah that is that one still a fairly neutral palette that i'm working with even though there is definitely some color in all these palettes that i picked as well okay lastly we have one more and that is the fifth color in my amuse palette now this is a palette that i bought online that as you can see it looks fairly cheap but the colors are okay um they all have kind of a shimmery overspray um but apart from that they look quite nice i don't know it has some nice colors in it i think that's the main reason i bought it i've had this for a while i would not really buy a palette like this anymore right now but i have it so Okay, the fifth color, the middle is a blush, so I won't be counting that one. And I started here, one, two, three, four, five. So it's the red pinkish color. So we've got another, ooh, this is, this is bright. Okay. That is the red pinkish color. Also that one, I feel like you can kind of create a romantic look um it might work even with the purple and but when i combine it with for example this brown and this one i might kind of be able to kind of blend it out if i put like this in the crease a little bit of this in the outer corner and then blend it in with this again i can see that work so yeah just to kind of show you a bit more of a close-up of the colors this is what i'm working with um, i feel like color family wise it it definitely seems to work okay i could have definitely picked worse eyeshadows we've got some brights in here that i have to play around with a bit to see and figure out how i'm gonna make this work but yeah i'm i'm excited i'm not too disappointed in the colors that i got for now so 
yeah that is it for now if you guys have any ideas on how to combine these colors definitely do let me know in the comments down below um i'm excited this is gonna ask some of my creativity again which i sometimes don't use too much in my pen palette because i just keep going back to the same looks but that is i think the fun thing about this challenge because we might be uh, rolling in new things on a monthly or bi-monthly basis um yeah so that is it for today uh, my next update for this one is gonna be up in about a month from now i'm gonna try and film something around the first week of every month for this one together with my panda palettes but we'll see where we end up uh, especially in january because i won't be here for the first part of it anyway this is it i'm excited thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye bye